Hello, my name is Jamie Plain from Cambia Vehicle Electronics and to today's video we'll be looking at petrol ignition products. We'll be looking at both direct and indirect ignition and the components that make up these systems. Ignition is the vital link in turning the chemical energy that is stored in the fuel into kinetic energy that can turn the wheels. It's also important during the winter to check these components because of the extra strain put on them by the cold weather. One design of direct ignition is a pencil coil and today we're going to take a look at the popular VAG family of pencil coils. Although they're similar in design, featuring heat shields and a single design of block connector, there are distinguishing features that can help you identify the right part. For example, the length of the coil, the colour of the connector, and the design of the heat shield. This family of products cover a wide variety of applications, from high-powered sports saloons like the Audi S4, to smaller city vehicles like the Volkswagen Polo 1.2. Another common feature across this range of pencil coils is the block connector used. Unlike an indirect system which features a high tension or HT lead, 12 volts is supplied directly to the coil via a four pin block connector. When replacing your pencil coil, it's important to remember to inspect the connector for any signs of damage or wear. If this has become damaged during removal, has any loose pins or is rusty, it should be replaced with a new unit such as this. They're simple to fit and only require the old connector to be cut away before the new one is then crimped into place. If the faulty component is not removed, then this may result in a premature failure of the new coil. It's also important to remember to use the correct extraction tools when removing any pencil coils. The pencil coil is one example of a direct ignition product. Another is the rail coil, which is either two or four coils fitted together into a single unit, sat on top of the spark plugs. While direct ignition has its benefits, such as flexibility of dwell time and ignition timing, it also has its negatives. This is mainly due to the position of the coil sat directly on top of the spark plugs. This can lead to exposure to excessive heat, vibration and potentially water ingress. This is why these are such a common failure item. Next, we're going to take a look at indirect ignition systems. Although these are thought of as old technology, there are still many vehicle manufacturers producing new cars with indirect coil and lead sets. This is because of the cost efficiency and increased reliability over direct systems. Here we have a 2011 Fiat Punto 1.2 petrol that has been brought in with a misfire. Although the engine management warning light is not illuminated, it is still recommended to perform a full scan with a diagnostic tool to check for any other errors. Firstly, the technician is inspecting the coil pack to look for any physical damage before later checking the resistance with the multimeter. He will also check the connection to the battery. When installing new coils, ensure the mounting surface is clean and free from contamination, as some coils will ground via the mounting bracket. If these coils are not mounted properly, they will never work correctly. The second main check is to look at the HT leads. When inspecting them, it's important to look for loose connectors, damaged insulation, or bristle or cracking boots. If they show any signs of damage or wear, it's important you replace them, remembering to remove them properly by holding the boot rather than pulling directly onto the lead. The third check is to look at the spark plugs. They should be removed and inspected for any damage or excessive wear to the electrodes or carbon fouling. When reinstalling the spark plug, it's important to remember to use less torque than you would on a new plug. This is because the gasket has already been compressed once and over tightening the plug can lead to damage. It is always recommended to replace the coil, leads and plugs at the same time if the vehicle has failed through normal wear and tear, as typically all of these components will wear at the same rate. If the coil has failed unexpectedly and the leads and plugs have passed an inspection, then these can be reused. Once all of the components have been checked and replaced where necessary, the mechanic will then take the vehicle for a full test drive. So, the important message for today is to always inspect all of the components in the ignition system, including the coil, the leads and the plugs. Also, don't forget, in modern rail and pencil coils, we still need to look at the attached connectors and leads for any signs of wear or damage. Good ignition leads to good combustion, which is essential in modern vehicles for the efficient running of the emission control systems. So that concludes today's presentation. Thank you for watching.